Hey, good evening, guys. Touch coming at you. Tuesday, March 31st, 6.59. And uh, we're back out in the garage working on uh, cleaning up the motor a bit. And uh, we're going to clean up that oil pan tonight. So we're going to get all that sludge out of the bottom. It's not too bad, actually. And we'll finish cleaning the, uh, the pan up, getting it ready for paint. So that's the, uh, that's the job for tonight. That's the, uh, the power hour task, let's say. So we're going to get to it. Uh, so there's the before picture. You know I like before and after. So there's the before picture. And uh, we'll come back with an after picture whenever this is done. All right, guys. Looks a lot better already since I stripped all the grease off of yesterday. All right, guys, we'll come back. All right, guys, just coming up to uh, 8.15, and we've got the oil pan scrubbed down pretty much uh, the best that we're going to do. Uh, we've got it scrubbed down on the outside and pretty much uh, got her cleaned down nicely on the inside. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, hang her up, and we're going to give her a quick coat of... Uh, or a quick couple coats of paint before it uh, rusts over again. So just wanted to give you a before shot of that and we'll hang her up and we'll give her some paint. All right guys, guys, just coming up to 9.30 and while I've got the paint drying on the oil pan, I just wanted to answer a question for one of my viewers. And it sort of goes back to a discussion we had yesterday regarding the uh, engine number that I showed you on this 59 uh, Triumph TR3 block. So just to revisit that, I've got the engine block upside down, so I'm going to put you on your head, and we're going to go down back, and we're going to check that number out. So here you go. All right, so hopefully you can see that. So the number is TS45625E. Can you see that? All right. Get the blood rushing back. All right, so here is the uh, British Motor Industry Heritage Trust certified copy of the factory record. So you can get these for uh, all TR series cars. Um, this one is for my 59 TR3. And you can see there, this is the information that they provide you. I think you guys can see that. Make and model is there. There's my chassis number or the VIN number, TS44836LO. Uh, the L stands for uh, left-hand drive, and the O stands for overdrive. And there's the engine number you can check, so TS45625E. So that means that I've got the matching engine number in this car. So that's a good thing, just good to know. Um, just it, Like I said, it's not critical in a British car to have the correct engine number, but it's good to know. Now, Jerry asked a question about uh, his engine number in his uh, CC series TR6. So... The CC series would have been from 69 to, I think, August 1972. So Jerry's got a TR6 anywhere from a 69 to a 72. And he wanted to know about his engine number. And you can see, Jerry, that uh, the engine number is always a little bit later than the chassis uh, or uh, VIN number for the car. So I think that you have a correct engine for your car. I've never seen them match identically. They're usually run a few hundred uh, numbers later. Uh, so you should be good on your car, I would think. Now, you asked a question about, I, sh I showed you guys yesterday about the uh, red painted TR3 on the block. And Jerry said he had a red painted TR6 on his block. That I've not seen, actually. I've not read any literature that shows the TR6 uh, having a documented red paint on the block. I've not seen any photos of it anywhere, so that might be a bit of a one-off. I'm not sure about that, Jerry. But anyway, hopefully that answers your question. So, and I just wanted to show everybody, all my viewers, the uh, what the certificate looks like, because some guys uh, always ask the question. So it does have some other interesting information in here. Obviously, you can tell you it's left-hand drive, North American, Canadian export. Here's the color. Uh, it was black originally with a red vinide uh, interior and a fawn hood top. There's the build date, 24th of February 1959. The date of dispatch, uh, 6th of April 1959. The destination dealer, Standard Motor Company Canada Limited Canada. Uh, that was in Montreal, Canada. Uh, here's the factory fitted equipment. And you can see it has overdrive. 5.90 white wall tires, heater, tonneau cover, tool kit roll, spare wheel, less sealed beam unit. 
the car was shipped from Liverpool and uh, there's the issue too that's the previous owner's name there I just didn't want to show his name just in case he didn't want to be notified <laughs> it didn't want to be indicated so there's the date of issue when uh, the previous owner asked for the certificate 2003 and obviously the signature and the seal so that's what the uh, heritage trust certificate looks like just for anybody that's interested so hopefully I answered your question there Jerry on the uh, on the engine number versus the commission or VIN number of the car. All right, back to painting and we'll give you one more update. All right guys, last update of the night, just after 10 o'clock and uh, we've got uh, the oil pan now painted. Uh, looks good. So that's two light coats according to the uh, can directions, two light coats followed one uh, by one medium coat. So, uh, and that all had to be done within the hour or you had to wait for, I believe it was seven days for that to cure before you painted it again. So I think it looks pretty good. Much, much better. So thought I'd give you a quick shot of that. So we'll move on to the next thing. I think what we'll do tomorrow, we'll probably have another little power out, out power hour out here and we'll probably tackle that uh, timing chain cover tomorrow. Uh, so we'll get that out of the way and then we'll probably move on to the, uh, the main event, which is the block. So, uh, yeah, so we've got our work cut out for us uh, for the next little while. So that's it for tonight, guys. Uh, we'll upload this, and we'll get back out here tomorrow. Have a good night.